Hello, James Marsden. Hello. Finally, Thank testosterone. The, the singing introduction. Yeah. <laughs> into the, uh, it, it, to our little studio here at Sundance, day yeah. five, Bachelorette. I love, I was, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was saying it's nice listening to all the ladies get interviewed. Right? Now, now I can hot. Just so you've thought of a lot of sound bites and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to use all their stuff. And actually, <laughs> oh, I'm going to go into an Australian accent. As oh, well, just listening God. to Rebel talk all day. Tom, exactly. It's involuntary. It just comes out. Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> we have to give you a name, though. What Ryan. a shameless actor. Just waits right to go on camera to show off his Rebel. Australian accent. <laughs> his Rebel Wilson impersonation. Um, when is Enchanted 2 going to come to Sundance, by the way? It's, it's a Sundance movie, isn't it? I know, it? right? Yeah. Like, it's a scream Sundance. Couldn't they do a different uh, <laughs> take on it and get it here? Yeah, yeah, I've started thinking about that. I don't know if that movie's going to get made. Hopefully it will eventually, yeah, but... Maybe. You know, we are playing, like, animated characters mm -hmm. who don't age. Yeah, so... so that's maybe a problem. Yeah, you know? that can work. Amy and I are like... Get uh, that get that on the books. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this, actually, you got to play opposite of uh, mm -hmm. The Bachelorette. I mean, in The Bachelorette, opposite of... Prince Charming, you were a real dick. Yeah. You were so yeah. arrogant and great. Yeah, it was so fun. much fun. Well, it's fun to play that character that's, you know, so close to who you are in real yeah. life that, you know, Wasn't too often stretch. it's always character roles for me. Um, yeah, it was fun because it was, you know, I mean, it, the fun of playing that type of role is that he's just completely unapologetically that, that sort of douchebag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it's kind of like playing a good villain, you know. There's it is a delicious but, element to him. When I read the script, it was, <laughs> I don't know why, um, this is why I wanted to do it. It's not really why I wanted to do it, but the description of the character said, Trevor, you know, walks in, sort of charming, debonair, graduated magna cum laude, and uh, has definitely slept with prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's hmm, very funny. I don't know who this gentleman is, but let's explore You think it. you can find him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was all in Leslie's script, so. But it's fun. It's fun, you know. The girls in this movie are, are are very sort of usually like the male roles. It's like you know mm -hmm. the, the Vince Vaughn swingers characters. Right. Like it's the women in this movie right. that are like the most raunchy of the bunch. Right. Are you having a good time this Sundance? Uh, I yeah, I am. It's it's a bit busy. I'm, I've got this other film here too called Robot and Frank with Michael. Oh John. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was yeah. I haven't seen that movie, but people love that. It's um, very the different film. than this. Obviously, is there a robot in it? Yeah, it takes okay. place ten years in the future, and so it's just far enough in the future that you can see, you know, it's not like a very slick, futuristic movie. It's like there's a few new cars and a little technological advancements. But, um, it, you know, we live in a world 10 years in the future where robots are installed in uh, homes as caretakers for uh, the elderly or you mm -hmm. know, he's suffering from early dementia. And so, but yet he r develops this relationship with the robot. and. Um, and then the movie turns into a whole caper, like he's mm. ex-cat burglar, and so he teaches the robot. I'm giving away the whole plot. No, it's great. I can't <laughs> wait. No, let's go see it. You gotta see it. It's yeah. a really charming, charming movie. Great. Well, it's great to see you. Thank yeah, you for stopping you by, and well. I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed for Enchanted too. Thank you. Sometime. Let's hope I don't scare away the whole uh, the whole audience after after Bachelorette. No, that'll be all right. <laughs> that'll be all right.